Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you a slow cooker recipe. It's for sweet potato and lentil like dal. And it's really easy to prepare. Just stick it in the slow cooker in the morning and it will be ready in the evening and you can eat it with naan bread, which is how I like it, or serve it with rice if you want something a little bit more hearty. But it's perfect for vegans because it's got lentils in it and it's got no dairy. And there were eggs, obviously. So this is one of my staple vegan dinners in, during the winter, autumn and winter. So come and watch me make it. So here's my ingredients. I've got sweet potato. I'm using today sweet potato frozen chunks just because it just makes it so much easier. I've got red lentils, a bit of Himalayan salt, I've got some spices, garam masala, ground coriander, and chili powder, got some coconut milk, some vegetable stock which is made out of this bouillon powder, if it ever focuses, and can you tell I'm drinking a coffee while I'm making this, it's the morning, so I've got an onion and a garlic which I'm just going to mince down because I don't really like the onion texture. So here we are, I'm going to start off by doing the onion, so I'm going to put it, I haven't tried this before, but I'm going to put it in the Nutribullet to see if I can sort of pulverise it down. I wonder if it's going to make it fine. Yeah, I like the flavour of onions nice added to things, especially like this, I think you would miss it if you didn't have it, but I just don't like the texture, so I either have to chop it up really big so I can easily pick it out or I have to completely mince it down. I also do sometimes use frozen onion, but because I'm just going to blend it, I haven't used the frozen onion. You can just buy frozen onion in the supermarket, chopped, um, which is amazing for people who cry their eyes out over onions like me. Oh, I can already feel it. Maybe this wasn't a good one to film. Oh. Right, then I'm just going to add four garlic cloves. I'm going to add them in with the onion just so they get some minced up at the same time. There's loads of tips and stuff, isn't there, about how to chop onions without crying. But I'm basically too lazy to try anything. Right, with the garlic, just chop the ends off the garlic. And then I pop them in the microwave for literally 10 seconds and it loosens the skin off. So I've just realised you probably couldn't see a thing I was doing because I had the slow cooker in the way. But I've just popped that in the microwave and they just literally pop out their skins. Just saves the faff over peeling them. And it means you don't have to touch the garlic for too long. Because we all know it makes our fingers smell garlicky. So there we are. Right, I'm going to pop that in the Nutribullet. I say it's Nutribullet, it's not, it's a Nutri, Nutri Ninja. Right, I've got to say, it hasn't loved doing it. You should probably just get in the food process. I was just too lazy to get it all out, but it's nearly there. Actually, in the end, that worked really well. I've got liquidised um, onion now. I wonder if it's going to make me cry when I take it off. I'm just going to pop it in the slow cooker. Obviously, if you're a normal person, just mind onions. Just chop your onions and put them in. So if you're making this for kids or anyone who's fussy with textures, this is a good tip. It's making me want to cry again. Right, so the onion's in there. Now we're just going to add the stock. So we've added the stock. Now it's two teaspoons of each of the spices. There we go. Obviously, if you don't like it spicy or things like that, just adjust it to your taste. Now I'm going to add the sweet potato. The recipe calls for three sweet potatoes, three large sweet potatoes, but obviously just got the chopped one. So I'm just going to guess the 
about half a packet. Now we just give that a little stir around. So it's all mixed. And then we need to put it on high and cook it for three hours until the vegetables all soft. And then we'll add the lentils and cook it for another hour and a half. And then at the end, we'll stir in the coconut milk. So I won't show you all of that because that's quite straightforward. I'll just show you now the finished product.